COVID-19 pandemic is still ongoing. We are seeing some of the highest numbers of cases throughout the country that we've seen since the start of the pandemic. The district employs several strategies to mitigate the spread of COVID-19 in our buildings, including the universal use of masks, social distancing when possible, frequent washing of hands to reduce the spread of germs, and the use of contact tracing and quarantines to prevent outbreaks. When a school is notified that a student or teacher tests positive, our school nurses begin working on contact tracing. This involves conversations with students, staff, and possibly parents to understand who that person might have been a close contact with. A close contact is generally defined as someone who spends 15 minutes or more during a 24-hour period within six feet of someone who is positive and exhibiting symptoms of COVID-19. In the school environment, the CDC has lowered this threshold for students from six feet to three feet as long as there is universal masking at the school and the students were both wearing their masks. Students who are fully vaccinated and not exhibiting symptoms or those who have had a lab confirmed diagnosis of COVID-19 in the last 90 days are not required to quarantine if they are a close contact. When a student is diagnosed as a close contact, they will receive a notification letter from the school explaining the procedures. This includes both the information about when a student is eligible to return as well as information about how they can continue learning and be counted present while in quarantine or self-isolation. To be counted present, a student must complete all their assigned work as assigned in Schoology by their teachers, and parents must verify that the student has participated in all instructional activities. Students should be able to access their course information and assignments online through Schoology. Unsure of how to access Schoology? Here's a quick tutorial. In your web browser, go to mnps.schoology.com. Here you'll log in using your MMPS Office 365 credentials. If you can't access, please call the help desk at 615-269-5956. Now that you're logged into Schoology, you'll want to click on the course dashboard near the top of the page. Now you'll have all your courses available and you can select the one which you need to access your work. We understand that during this time, students may need support from a teacher. Since their classroom teacher is likely working in the face-to-face -face learning environment and unavailable to answer questions during the day, we have worked with the MNPS Virtual School to offer additional support for students who need help during this time. Here, we'll walk you through the process for scheduling an appointment with a teacher for support. Welcome to the MNPS Virtual School. In this video, I will be showing you how you can book individualized instructional support for students who cannot attend school in person during their quarantine period. First, open up a web browser and click in the bar. We're going to go to vlearn.mnps.org. Now I'm going to navigate over the resources tab and in the resources tab it's a drop down menu comes down and I'm going to click instructional support. That brings up different teachers that provide instructional support. This is where students have the opportunity to ask questions seek clarity and receive remote instruction via a scheduled or drop-in live session. So we can click the learn more under each teacher's profile to schedule a session or join a drop-in session. So for a scheduled session, students may schedule a session to connect with a certified teacher via Microsoft Teams in a specific grade level or content area. For a drop-in session, students may join a live instructional support session via Microsoft Teams, which will connect them with a teacher during the window of availability of Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 11.30 and 12 p.m. to 3 p.m. Central Time. So for kindergarten through fifth grade instructional support, we have Darlene Windsor. So if I'm in kindergarten or first grade, I'm going to go to learn more. 
that pulls up information about Darlene Windsor and I can click here to schedule a one-on-one -on -one support session or I can click here to join the live instructional support teams link. So let's click schedule a one-on-one -on -one support session. That's going to take me to Miss Windsor's instructional support and I'm going to select a service for either 30 minutes or 15 minutes. I'm going to select the date and the time that it's available and then I will book my appointment. That will send me the information that I need to book a time for this teacher. Now I'm going to go back and we're going to explore how we would do that for a different grade level. Okay, so now I'm going to go to grade 6 through 12 instructional support. So for example, I am needing instructional support in social studies and I'm a student at home quarantine. So I'm going to go to Dr. Teresa Bogoma. I'm going to click learn more. And now I'm going to scroll down where I can schedule my one-on-one -on -one support session or I can drop into a live instructional support session via this Teams link from 8 to 11.30 a.m. or 12 to 3 p.m. So just to recap what we did today, we go to vlearn.mnps.org. We go hover our mouse over resources. Then we click instructional support. That takes us to our teachers. We look for our grade level and our subject area that we are needing support in. So if I need help in math and I'm a 10th grader, I'm going to click here. I'm going to scroll down and I'm either going to book a one-on-one -on -one support session or I'm going to click the Teams Live instructional support link and just drop in to ask my questions or receive help. Now that the student has completed their quarantine and is eligible to come back to school, it is important for parents to provide this return to school attendance form if they want their student to be counted present for the day. Please note that these attendance procedures are collected after the quarantine is over, meaning that parents will likely receive calls from the school informing them that their students were not in attendance for that day. Be sure to fill out all the boxes before turning in the attendance form to include the name of the school, the student's name, the date of birth, and the student ID, followed by the dates and whether the student participated in work to be counted present or was excused as absent. You will then turn in the form to your school and they will work with the student's teacher to verify the information and update their attendance status in our system. We understand the quarantine process can be challenging. However, it is an important part of an overall strategy to keep as many students as possible from getting COVID-19 in our buildings and to remain open for in-person learning throughout the year. If you have additional questions, please be in communication with your child's school. Thank you.